When people first arrive at DCS, the first thing that they get hit or bombarded with is this overwhelming passion that comes from everybody that's already here. I think DCS's approach to uh, R&D is very much one of continual development. We're always looking at how our products perform and always trying to find ways to make them perform better. There's no one way to push the envelope. It requires a highly skilled team pushing each other to achieve ever more. In terms of what we try to deliver, it really comes back to the the origins of the company and it's about you know being in service of the music and trying to preserve the you know the emotional intent and the musical message. The early years of DCS was really in that recording and, and mastering space and working directly with you know, world-renowned engineers and, and the big recording studios and mastering studios of the day. Because we've got this legacy of innovation and, and working right across the recording and, and playback chain, there's this inherent knowledge within the company about how to get absolute performance, and, and that transcends into everything that we do. I think it's, it's fair to say that, that in R&D, we have one aim, and that's to be the best, and that's to do things differently. We're unique in, in a sense that our software and our hardware are, are designed in-house. All of the software that deals with the signal path is proprietary to DCS. You know, all of the, the, the PCBs that we design um, are kind of laid out here and, and designed with performance as the number one requirement. One of the things we always do is look at the problem that needs to be solved and think hard about the best way of solving it. And sometimes that's not always the easiest way, but that's the route we pursue anyway, because I think fundamentally we're focused on performance, we're focused on excellence, and that is always what sets our products apart. Quality is absolutely everything. So it's super important that, that we all kind of believe in, in what the product is about and, and making sure that when it gets out there that the customer's experience is, is utterly met and if not bettered or exceeded. When we started out on Lena, we set out to deliver the DCS listening experience for headphone users. From the very beginning of Lena, we wanted to create a product that would allow music listening in a range of environments. So that meant a smaller, lighter, tactile product that you could arrange to suit the environment, be that as a full stack or side-by-side -side products. You set out to build a Vivaldi or Rossini. It's more about being more agile and, and how flexible can this thing be and how can it support a myriad of use cases. Whereas with, with Lena, we really tried to drill it down where this was a really powerful, great sounding product that did exactly what you needed. Clearly there's recognition that people have headphones they love, they have headphones that they use to AB against future headphones and current headphones to figure out which ones they like. They all have slightly different presentations and we wanted to honor all of those. In terms of what we wanted from the sound, you know, that was really about bringing everything that we think special about DCS to the headphone community. It's got the hallmarks of, of DCS um, in terms of how it how it interacts and how it responds, but also how it sounds. You know, it, it draws you in. Um, it has the detail and, and the resolution. Lena's styling is a continuation of the DCS creative journey last seen with Bartok and we had a wish to push that further, creating an extremely uncluttered look to the product, very clean lines, and a minimalist execution. It's really all about a, a timeless, elegant design that will stand the test of time. We've designed this product range specifically for the headphone user, so although we've used a lot of existing DCS technology, all of the hardware is designed completely from scratch. It's a smaller chassis, so the mechanical designs were, were quite, quite involved. 
it had to give a full DCS performance and the key markers for our products need to be maintained. There's not many companies that have managed to be successful in, in two-channel audio and also in, in headphone audio. You know, they're very different. What, what people want from, from a product and what they want from the sound of a product um, and the capabilities of a product are, are very, very different. And that was something that we, we were adamant on, that if we were going to develop a purpose-built range of products for the headphone space, then you know, we had to make sure that we delivered exactly what you know, the headphone listener needed. There's been a lot of, 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 of passion put into this from a pure headphone perspective. We think it gives a superior performance, music reproduction performance, and just listening experience to people, regardless of what your preference is in headphones. That purpose-built ethos drove everything we did, and it was a departure from how we normally design products. It was a challenge, especially in, in the times that we're in, because you know trying to source components, um, you know manufacture prototypes, um, test products, you know, um, visit new suppliers. Everything was five times more challenging than it's been in the past. Um, but I think having that, that ethos around purpose built and, and not straying from you know what we envisaged the product to be was was the way to do it.